What's up, you guys? And welcome back to another episode of Cuties for Christ. Episode four, I think we're on. I know you're probably thinking, look, girl, where you been at? Where you been? Why you ain't been on here? We ain't been seeing you. I've been posting, but I know you guys haven't seen me on camera and you haven't gotten another episode. Well, that's because like I told myself, I wasn't going to pressure myself into doing an episode if I didn't feel led to do an episode or if I just didn't feel like, you know, I had something to talk about because I don't want to just get on here and just blab about anything. I absolutely want to, I, I actually want to come on here and have some type of substance to give you guys and really share with you in depth what I've been going through. Um, and speaking of, I tried therapy. I know. Stop. Close the door. If you know me, you know, I'm the type of person to do stuff on my own. That's it. I'm just like, I don't need no help from nobody. As long as I got me, myself and God. I'm good. But this time I was like, you know what? Let me try something a little bit different. And I wanted to try this method, this journey that I'm on coupled with therapy because I felt like, and you know, and I will always pray too. I, I, I prayed beforehand. I said, Lord, please give this therapist, you know, use this therapist to speak to me, to teach me, to lead me, to guide me. And um, it was an interesting session. So I wanted to get into that. Now, the thing about it is that I actually um, was kind of praying to God. I'm like, you know, should I do this? Should I not do this? Because of what I was feeling, but I didn't want those to be like feelings of like the enemy or people or whatever trying to, you know, evil thoughts trying to get into my head. I really wanted wanted it to be from God. If God was like leading me to be like, no, you don't need to do this. All you need is me. I don't, I don't want you to do this, at least right, not right now. But um. I ended up going ahead and doing it and trying it and going forth with it, you know, regardless of the thoughts that I had in the back of my mind. And it was only one session. So, you know, I did a lot of the talking. Um, it was interesting, but I still don't know if it's necessarily for me in this moment. Like, but I'm, I haven't given up. I'll say that, though. I haven't given up on it. So how I felt after the first session was a little bit just, I won't even say relieved, but I felt, ooh, I don't even know a word for it. I just felt like, I don't know. It was the first session, so I'm not trying to judge it judge it too harshly because I'm like, maybe I wasn't supposed to like really feel anything on the first session. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe it wasn't supposed to be that deep on the first session. And maybe I was looking for something deep on the first session. Now I know for me, also, I was looking for more of a conversation type of dialogue, which didn't happen for me. So maybe that's what it was. Maybe there was just like a little bit of disconnect. But of course, they always say to always try to try different therapists if the first one doesn't work out. But it's like, I don't know if I should judge off of this first session and then just switch therapists or if I should continue on. The spirit is leading me, but we'll talk about that later anyway. So the thing I think is the burning question on this topic is will I return? I do want to go back because I do want to give it a good go. I think a lot of times um, we tend to, a lot of times we tend to not really give things full, the full go, like the full effect, the full go round, give it a full opportunity to really um, teach us and show us what it is that we may not be seeing and, it, and it's kind of like you know relating it all back to god sometimes we don't give god the time you know to show us what we are missing or what can be in store for us because we're always in a rush for things and i know that was part of my problem too in a rush you want things you want it now you want it to fit you now you want to feel better now and that's just not how it goes things take time and that's something that i'm trying to keep in the back of my mind as I'm going through this journey and as I am, as I'm taking these sessions. Um, so for me, this is all about trusting God. It all goes back around to trusting God, trusting him and trusting him to lead me to the right therapist, trusting him to lead me to a therapist that can give me the right words, can, that can give me the right advice and the right solutions to fix what it is that I'm feeling and to really just become whole and be able to heal because I feel like my healing process is a little bit 
stunted, I guess, is that the word? Like, it's, it's like plateaued. I'm just kind of like this as opposed to like wanting the graph to go up. The graph is a flat line. Anyways, um, <laughs> but again, I've just been praying about it, praying through it, and just trying to keep going. I think that's, that's, I mean, it's, it's nothing complex about it. I've just been trying to simply keep going, find the blessing within it and keep going. But if y'all taking therapy and you know what, what, what need to be done, let me know. Okay. I just trying to be careful. Cause you know, your girl wasn't trying to be in no grippy socks. She was asking them questions and I was like, I don't want to be in no grippy socks. So no, <laughs> um, but moving on from that though, I know lately just within this because I, I feel like it's kind of the same on the same train um i wanted to briefly just discuss being um frustrated with god but still trusting god and i know for me that even came in the form of you know this therapy session like okay i'm gonna trust you you've given me these resources i'm gonna trust you and i'm gonna use them but I'm frustrated at the same time. I'm frustrated with everything. Like, should I be doing this now? You know, now it's like I was frustrated before. Now I'm kind of frustrated again because I'm just like, okay, this is not what I expected. So what now what do I do, God? Like, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? How do you want me to continue? Um, and for me, I'm going to say this, and I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I just feel like it's okay sometimes to be frustrated with God just because we're human. And he knows that we're human and he knows that we're living in the flesh and he knows that we're going to get that way. So I think that it is okay to be um, frustrated with God, but you need to handle it accordingly. Okay, I'm reading my notes. You need to handle it accordingly and you need to take the necessary steps for you to get past that frustration. And that can look different for everybody. You know, I know for me it's praying through it is um persevering through it just keep going just keep going because right when you get at that edge like you can be like you know what i'm gonna give up and then that could be your moment so i want to stay fully obedient because i need to i need god to know that i'm not in this because of what you can do for me i'm in this because of who you are and that's what my main focus and my main goal is like I'm trying to be so locked in, never switching up with God that I don't know when the enemy is present, that I don't know when things aren't going my way, that I don't know, okay? That's where that's where I'm trying to be, okay? Get on the train. So I think for me, praying through it, you know, I just pray through it. I reflect on it. Why am I frustrated? Why do I feel like this? How can I change this? There's things that we can't change um about what we go through but there's also things that we can't change so what about this can i change i can change my mindset i can change my environment i can change my mood i can i can do all of those things i might can't change what's happening to me because what's happening to me is a part of the experience and it's a part of just what god has in store for me but there's things that i can change and i can change how i respond to it and i can change how i receive it right so um that's what i i really just wanted this episode to be about and i also had a revelation and i'm gonna leave you guys with this so the revelation that i had over the past couple of days or weeks was was that i'm never going to be my old self again because once you have new experiences especially traumatic experiences you're never going to be able to be your old self again and i know that i have time and time again told my friends like i just want to be my old self i want to know who i was before all of this transpired and to be honest with you, I may can get close, but I'll never be that same girl again who didn't have those experiences because now I have those experiences. And that's okay, but now it's up to me to choose how I want to respond to, you know, the triggers that I may have from those experiences, how I want to respond to them, how I react to them, how I handle them, how I care for them in order to not ruin my day and ruin everybody else's day around me. So that's the revelation that I had, that I have to learn this new self, whether I like it or not, I have to learn who I am now, this new person, this new woman that I am now, and learn to care for her, learn to treat her with grace, learn to be there for her, and 
all in all, just build her back up, build her back up and, and man, just, just, just be there for her. Like I, I, I have to, I can't, I can't give up on her. And there's been so many times I have to think to myself, like, you know what? God put me out of this thing that I went through. Why wouldn't he pull me out of this? What's changed? Nothing's changed. So that's what I had a revelation about. And that's what I want you guys to think about when you're going through experiences and if you're having traumatic experiences or if you have triggers or things like that. It's okay to not be the same person that you were because without those experiences, without, you know, being the same person, then you're just, you're never growing. You're, you're just, you know, we, we gain wisdom when we have new experiences and we learn for them, learn, learn from them. And we're able to, um, act accordingly. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and close out with that, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope that you were able to take something from it and I will see you in the next episode. I'm Rena, and this has been Cuties for Christ.